We started with something a little different that could cost U.S. taxpayers. Less than a year after a federal government shutdown, some members of Congress are warning it might happen again next month. Here's Brandon Lewis on why the immigration controversy could trigger that. With Congress still on a five-week work session in their districts, there's rumbling members could face another shutdown when they return. At issue is President Obama's threat to use executive action on immigration reform. He indicated he would lay out a plan sometime in early September. Some Republicans could try to prevent the measure by blocking a funding vote scheduled for later in the month. What I heard him say is uh, that he wants to work with the Congress. We're a nation of laws. We do need to work together. We need to secure our borders and we need to fix the broken system. The potential is there, but hopefully uh, we can avoid it because it's uh, very painful uh, to the nation. It's uh, impacted the, the nation in the past uh, severely. The last government shutdown was in October of 2013 over health care. It had an estimated $23 billion impact on the nation. And with Republicans mostly taking the blame from voters, they vowed to avoid using the shutdown tactic in the future. This is about compromise. You can't come to the table so rigid and being about undoing government and expect that real work is going to be done. Well, there are some on the far left and the far right that are talking about these type of things, but that's not where the Congress is because the Congress passed a two-year budget. And so we have the figures, uh, the top line figures that will take us through to 1 October of next year. Congress gets back to work on September 8th and will consider funding resolutions in the coming weeks. Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News.